Hi, my name is Dara Specker. I'm here today to talk about food labels. So one of the first things with a food label that you want to make sure that you do pay attention to is each food label up at the top is gonna say how many servings is in the product. The other big thing about reading a food label is you don't have to be a master at the entire label. You can pick one or two things to focus on or a lot of us have different wellness concerns based from our doctors or dietary needs that we may need. For example, someone with high blood pressure would really need to focus on their sodium intake. If you have someone who's pre-diabetic or diabetic, they're really gonna need to pay attention to how many carbs are in a product. Protein would be another big one too that people look at or are maybe not getting enough of as well. So we're really gonna focus on those three areas because those are the most common areas where we can kind of pick what's the healthier option in that moment. So we're gonna start off with chocolate milk, this popular brand here. Serving size, one bottle, so we know it's not two. Some of these drinks can be tricky though because they have more than one serving size in it. The other thing we're gonna cart down to is the amount of carbs. So this one has 41 grams of carbs in it. So this probably is not gonna be the most healthy option for someone who is pre-diabetic or has diabetes. The other thing we're gonna look at is the grams of protein. If we're trying to go for a quick breakfast, we wanna make sure we get the best bang for our buck. So this has 14 grams of protein. So looking at it right off first glance, this is not gonna be the best option for someone who has diabetes. However, this is a type of drink that tastes almost similar to chocolate milk. It has half the amount of calories. It also has four grams of carbs in it versus the 41, and there's 30 grams of protein. So if you're in the store and you're looking side by side, this would be the healthier option to pick so you can still have your chocolate milk but not have all the guilt associated with it. The other popular thing I get asked about too is oatmeal. So again, we have two different types of oatmeal products here. For this food label, it's 180 calories. So that sounds like that's gonna be a good option, right? There is uh, 290 milligrams of sodium, 37 carbs, and four grams of protein. So that seems pretty decent. This one off first hand has 230 calories. It has 37 grams of carbs and 14 grams of protein. So at first glance, you might be like, hey, the less calories is the one to go with. But if we're looking at the less amount of sodium and more protein, this is gonna be the healthier option. For soup, this can be a really big minefield, especially for high sodium content. So just a little tip is anytime you see the healthy request green heart, that's gonna be a healthier option for you. As you can see, this one has 410 milligrams of sodium, which may sound like a lot, but most soups have well over 600 into the 1200 milligrams of sodium in it. Then the last thing we'll look at here is the spaghetti sauce. So again, this one is 70 calories per serving, and there's five servings per container, 470 milligrams of sodium. There's 12 grams of carbs and two grams of protein. But then we're gonna look at this one. It's 100 calories. There's five servings again, half a cup. There's 420 milligrams of sodium, so a little less sodium, and only six grams of carbs. So again, if we're paying attention to our carb count, this is gonna be the better option. So as you can tell, reading the food labels can be a really big part in watching for our overall health and what we're eating on a day-to-day -day basis. Each meal is gonna be its own separate thing, but it all adds up at the end of the day. If you'd like to learn more about Purveya, you can visit our website at purveya.com. And then if you'd like to learn more about the programs offered at CVTC, check out their website at cvtc.edu. Thanks.